Okay, Coach, opening statement on this past week for the Lumberjacks. Yeah, just uh, coming off Jack's week, and uh, it was a good good week to focus on us and, and get us uh, us better, uh, healthy, get the Lumberjacks healthy, get a few guys back this week. Uh, they've been missing uh, a few games with injuries, and I uh, had, had a good week of practice, good week in the weight room, good week getting caught up and, and ahead on some things academically because we're fixing to, you know, turn the page now to a, eight weeks of, of, uh, of foot, straight football. And uh, so uh, I thought it was overall a really, really good week. We was able to get out and, and get a lot of recruiting done uh, towards the back half of the week and, and got to see a lot of our top prospects and sign or uh, commits. Uh, went to several games and uh, across, the, across the state. So uh, all in all, really good week. Um, and now we, we uh, got our focus set uh, on, on Northwestern State. The Demons coming to town with a big, big rivalry game, battle for the Chief and uh, old, old, uh, a lot, a lot of history there in this one. Uh, so uh, we had a short practice this morning, you know, just get out and move around a little bit and then kind of get into regular work week uh, tomorrow morning. So uh, looking forward to it. Going to be a beautiful week of uh, weather. Great week uh, or great Saturday. Looks looks to be forecasted. So expect a big crowd on a big rivalry game and, and uh, hopefully uh, Lumberjacks are getting better and, and find a way to win. I believe off camera mentioned that this is the 75th meeting. Um, Obviously, Northwestern State kind of not having the season that they envisioned, but obviously, you, you mentioned it last week, records get thrown out the window. So what can we expect for this Northwestern State squad? Yeah, no, it, it, it's exactly right. Rivalry games, it doesn't matter uh, what the records are. 0-0, it, zero, zero, you go out there and play, and, and uh, there's a lot of history with this one. goes back uh, many, many years uh, through lots of great battles, uh, even uh, before... Uh, they instituted the Chief Caddo Traveling Trophy, and, and now that that thing's been retired, I mean, it's still, I mean, it's Nacogdoches and Nacogdoches, and, and uh, not, not a lot separates us, but a few Piney Woods, and so um, I expect a, a really uh, good game. These guys are getting better. Their head coach, Blaine McCorkle, does a great job. Uh, he's He came from Bellhaven, where he turned that program into a, a consistent winner, a champion. He's got a lot of history uh, in his career at FCS, so he knows how to build FCS programs, and he's doing that there from the ground up. They've gotten better each and every week. Uh, you know, they played Southeast Missouri last week, uh, top top 15, top 10 uh, FCS program. And uh, I think Southeast scored early in that first quarter, and then after that scored a touchdown. After that, they held them out, uh, held them to field goals the rest of the way. And so uh, they're, they're, they're more of a defensive team right now. Offense is still coming on, but... Uh, you know, I expect a, expect a good game, and and uh, the main thing we got to do is make sure that we're getting better. Uh, we've got to continue to get better week in week out. Focus on the lumberjacks. If we do that, uh, that that's that's what I'm looking forward to is seeing how good this team can become this year. Turn over to the media. All right, coach. Yeah, first of all, talked about the trophy. What do we ex what can we expect this, for the trophy this time around? Yeah, we, we've uh, obviously that thing got retired a few years back. Chief Caddo did, and and uh, so uh, Coach McCorkle, he he and I got together uh, this summer. He actually reached out and, and kind of takes some initiative with it as well, and and uh, put our collective heads together and and kind of uh, some some ideas back and forth with design. He's he's quite the artist. He sent it over, you know, uh, you know, pencil and paper uh, scratch, and that's kind of what we started with, and and so uh, that thing is is uh, getting finished up. It's at the artist uh, uh, studio right now. It's, it's going to be big. Still be the uh, largest traveling trophy in all of uh, college sports and uh, similar to uh, in size as Chief Caddo. And uh, other than that, I don't know what all I'm allowed to say or, or not. I'm sure there'll be a reveal. So I've probably already said too much, but uh, should be a fun, fun trophy uh, that, that, you know, Tips a hat to the past, and and uh, you know also highlights both institutions, both communities, and and programs, and uh, should be a lot of fun to, to play for in the years future. Is it doing something though with the log that you used last year? Is it? This I can neither <laughs> confirm nor deny. You know. No, you gotta try, right? You gotta try. <laughs> there is. Uh, I have a feeling a lumber, a big piece of lumber is involved. <laughs> <laughs> As for, for Northwestern, though, like mm -hmm. any specific players you're looking to slow down or stop? You know, they've got a, they got a few guys back this past week and a and, uh, big old tight end that, that you know, add, adds a different dimension for them and, and everything. Defensively, they've got a linebacker number five that's just all over the place. I think he leads FCS in tackles possibly. I think he had 20-something tackles against uh, Prairie View or Weber, one of those games. And he, he plays sideline to sideline, is, is really good. Uh, their front, you know, they are hard to run the ball against. 
and uh, play a lot of cover one back there. And, and uh, so, you know, offensively, we got to work cut out for us. We've got, we got to continue and improve there, improve our running game, uh, and, and try to stay balanced against a team that's going to take the run away from you. But, um, again, it, it kind of goes back to us uh, getting getting some guys healthy, getting some guys back in the fold, getting some new guys to, to fill in. You know, obviously we lost uh, Aaron Sears, and, and so uh, finding, you know, the right mix back there in our back end, uh, replacing a few guys with injury as well. And that was actually my next question for you as far as, like, how you feel like you're doing health-wise coming off the Jacks week. Yeah, I think uh, getting getting some guys back, uh, uh which will, will help us, uh, you know, should see Jermaine Brown back out there. He's, he's been out since uh, he actually got hurt on that big interception return against North Texas. And so uh, he's missed uh, three weeks. It'd be great to have, have him back out there. Got a few others that have been on the shelf for a couple weeks that, that should see some ga- uh, game time again. Still still working on getting that O-line uh, patched, patched back together, but they're, they're getting closer. And, uh, you know, the guys that stepped up and played and had a couple of freshmen playing, Last week against Northern Colorado did a really good job. So uh, I think uh, we're healthier than, the, than we were, uh, which you'd expect after a bye week, but still have a few guys uh, with some, some work to get back. Yeah, Coach, and, you know, it's the, the first home game in the new conference, the old conference turned into the new conference with the Southland, you know, <laughs> first home game against Northwestern. How does that sort of feel being back in the conference First home game no, I think it's great. I think you'll see a good crowd, you know, come over from Nacogdoches just because it is a rivalry game, and uh, and they're supporting those guys. And we've got a lot of uh, alums coming back. This will be our Cali Belcher game, and so uh, you know, one one lumberjack will be honored with a, the highest honor you can get, wearing number sixteen uh, there on Saturday, and and a bunch of that. This is the thirtieth. Uh, reunion uh, for for the Cali Belcher group. Uh, so uh, excited to see a bunch of those guys again and and alums uh, of all sorts coming back from the different uh, years. A lot of them come back for this Northwestern game just because it is a rivalry game and means a lot to them. And so I expect a great crowd and and uh, it's it's going to be I think it's all 88 for a high and sunny sunny weather on Sunday. So sun's always shining on the Lumberjacks and it will be will be Saturday. So uh, looking forward to a great crowd. And who's going to be wearing number 16? Uh, that will be uh, voted on uh, this okay. week. So gotcha. that, that's yet to be determined. I uh, should have that. I uh, usually break that to the guys on, on Friday night. Gotcha. It'll be somebody very worthy. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. That is a great honor yeah. and, and a great yeah. tribute. And, and I know the guys, players and coaches a lot alike, take a lot of pride in who they vote for and, and what that represents. It's not a popularity contest. It's somebody that... It plays the game the way it should be played, the way Callie did, but also exemplifies uh, the way he lived off the field and uh, championing everything he did. So it just seems like, um, I mean, that you put a lot of emphasis on it was a huge week for family weekend with players being able to perform well in front of their family. But let's uh, let's wrap up the last of the extracurriculars. Everybody wear black because it is a full out blackout. Mm-hmm. And then you got the Cali Belcher game and you, uh, people coming out of the woodworks for Northwestern State. It just seems like. There's a lot more attached with the rivalry game. So even just outside of SFA versus Northwestern State, what does rivalry football mean to you? You know, it's it's what college football is all about, and and everybody you know comes from a, a high school, and you said high school had that big rivalry game, whether it was football or basketball or all all sports in between, and so it just it just gives you good reason just to dislike somebody immensely, you know, and. Maybe there are some good people over in Natchitoches. I'm not going to give them the credit this week. You know, heck with all of them. Let's beat the devil out of the demons and, and uh, you know, let's get things cranked up for a rivalry game. And uh, it should be a great crowd. Good guys wear black, so uh, we're going to be blacked out and expect the crowd too. And and uh, should be a fun Saturday out here in uh, Homer Bryce. October 5th, 7 p.m. against Northwestern State Demons. Coach, thanks for the time. Appreciate it. Excellent.